The John Deere 9009A Terrain Cut Rough Mower has a 9 foot or 2.74 meters width of cut for productive mowing of golf course roughs and other large turf areas. It features five 27 inch or 68.58 centimeters independent rotary decks with a deep deck designed for superior cut quality, asymmetric rear discharge for better quality dispersion and after cut appearance, and the industry's best deck overlap that helps eliminate uncut strips of grass between decks. In this video, we'll show you how to operate the 9009A correctly and safely. Remember, you are responsible for your own safety and the safety of those around you. Safety should be the first thing you think of when operating any machine on the golf course. Since we won't cover everything in this video that you need to know, be sure to read the printed operator's manual before mowing. The operator's manual is available in Spanish and this video is closed captioned in Spanish. Contact your dealer if you need an operator's manual in another language. We'll start with a look at the operating controls and features. On the right side floorboard are the forward travel pedal and the reverse travel pedal. Press the left pedal to go forward. Press the right pedal to go in reverse. The 9009A features auto pedal during transport. Auto pedal controls both engine and ground speeds. The farther you push the pedal, the faster you'll go. To go in reverse, look down and behind the machine to ensure a clear path and slowly press the reverse pedal. When you take your foot off the pedals, the machine will slow to a stop. On slopes, you may also need to use the brake to stop the machine. See the operator's manual for information on mowing slopes safely. On the bottom left side of the steering column is the steering column tilt control. Depress the lever with your left foot and adjust the steering column to a comfortable position. Then release the control to lock the steering column. Most of the controls on the 9009A are conveniently located on the command arm. These controls include the key switch, the light switch, mow transport switch, park brake switch, the lift lower lever, and the tech control display. Push the right side of the park brake switch to disengage the park brake, and push the left side of the switch to engage the park brake. Push the mow transport switch to the right to engage the decks and push the switch left to disengage the decks. Push the lift lower lever forward to lower the decks and pull the lift lower lever back to raise the decks. To mow on the golf course, push the mow transport switch to the right side mow position. The engine will automatically accelerate to full engine RPM. Then push the lift lower lever forward to lower the decks. When in mow, the blades will begin to rotate when you lower the decks and they will stop rotating when you raise the decks. To transport, push the left side of the mow transport switch down to put the machine in the transport mode and disengage the cutting units. Always transport with the decks in the full raised position. The tech control display is divided into seven sections. The four buttons at the bottom control various machine functions. The rectangular section at the bottom of the display shows the current functions available for each of the buttons. If a button has no assigned function, the area above it on the screen is blank. The first section on the bottom left of the main display is reserved for the diagnostic icon. Section B is the mode indicator, and sections C and D are gauge indicators. The main menu contains the machine mode icon, engine coolant temperature, fuel level gauge, the cruise control button, the language select button, and the next button. The mode icon indicates the current state of the machine, including park, transport, mow, end of cut turn speed, and load match engaged. If the machine has a problem, it will display a fault diagnostic trouble code, or DTC. If a code occurs, notify your equipment manager. Any diagnostic trouble code that is indicated includes an icon that advises you of the severity of the problem, either directing you to stop, providing you with a warning, or more information. We'll cover more on these icons later. Some DTCs do not have icons, but instead produce a code that includes a three-letter acronym 
and a diagnostic code number. Always notify the equipment manager of any codes. The 9009A features an air ride adjustable seat. The command arm is attached. When you adjust the seat, the command arm moves with it. To adjust the seat forward or back, lift the lever on the left side, adjust it either fore or aft, then release the lever to lock the seat into position. To lock out the seat's fore and aft suspension, rotate the lockout lever forward. Rotate the lever to the rear to enable fore, aft, and vertical suspension. Lift the height adjustment lever to raise the seat and push the lever down to lower the seat. Lift the seat back lever up to tilt the seat back forward or backward. Rotate the lumbar support knob located on the back of the seat to adjust the lumbar support. Always wear proper clothing and protective equipment for the job. This includes safety goggles or safety glasses with side shields, earplugs, heavy duty work boots, and long pants. Depending on the work you are doing and the procedures at your golf course, you may also want to wear a long sleeve shirt, sunscreen, and work gloves. Always start with a walk around inspection before mowing. Make sure hardware is tight and guards and shields are in place and in good condition. Look under the machine and check for oil, fuel, or coolant leaks. Make sure all warning decals are readable. Tell your golf course equipment manager if there are any missing or damaged decals. Inspect the decks to make sure they are in good condition. Have any damaged, worn, or missing parts repaired or replaced and make needed adjustments before mowing. Check the tire pressure and the condition of the tires. The operator's manual lists the recommended air pressure for the tires. Before starting the engine, open the hood, pull the dipstick, and check the engine oil level to make sure it is between the add and full marks on the dipstick. Check the hydraulic oil to make sure the oil level is between the hot and cold marks on the dipstick. Always check the hydraulic oil level when the oil is cold. Also, check the engine coolant level using the overflow bottle. If the engine is warm, the coolant should be between the indicated lines. If any of these fluid levels are low, top them off or have the equipment manager do it before you mow. Check the fuel water separator, which has the red ring floating in the bowl, and drain off any water as needed. Check the air restriction indicator. If the red indicator is showing, notify the equipment manager before mowing. Clean out debris in the engine compartment. This includes the area around the diesel particulate filter and exhaust pipe, the protective screen, oil cooler fins, fuel cooler, radiator fins, the battery, and the rear screens. Check the fuel gauge to make sure there's enough diesel fuel to get through the day. If needed, fill up the tank. Next, we'll look at how to start and operate the mower, but first, a few words about safety. Training is important. If you are new to operating the 9009A, practice operating in an unobstructed area under the direction of a qualified operator before mowing. Your training should include time operating on slopes to understand how to mow them safely and determine what slopes are not safe to mow. See your operator's manual for information on mowing slopes safely. Also, the 9009A has safety interlock systems installed. To start the engine, you must be sitting in the seat. The mow transport switch must be in the transport position and the park brake switch must be in the engaged position. We recommend that you test these systems before mowing. See your operator's manual for instructions on testing these systems and making sure the machine is running normally. If you find a problem while testing, do not operate the machine and notify your equipment manager. Always use the steps in the front or rear to enter and exit the operator station of the machine. The 9009A has a standard two-post ROPS or rollover protective structure. Always wear your seatbelt low and snug when operating to minimize your chances of injury from an accident. To start the engine, make sure the park brake switch is engaged and the mow transport switch is in the transport position. Then turn the key and start the engine. Let the engine idle a few minutes to warm up. Then raise the decks, move the brake switch to the right to release the parking brake, 
and press the forward foot pedal to transport out to the golf course. Always transport at a slow and easy speed and use the cart paths when possible. If you have to move off the cart path, proceed slowly and avoid rough ground. Avoid areas where traction or stability might be an issue. Be careful when transporting on or crossing roadways and never allow riders. When you arrive at the mowing site, stop on level ground, lower the cutting units, set the park brake, turn off the engine, and exit the machine. Inspect the area you are mowing to identify any areas that might be unsafe to mow. Remove any debris that could damage the decks or ruin the quality of cut. Also, always consider topography and turf conditions when deciding what areas are safe to mow. Look for any drop-offs into bunkers or water, as well as any embankments or slopes. These areas may not be safe to mow. Slopes are a major cause of loss of control and tip-over accidents, which can result in severe injury or death. Always plan your mowing pattern to avoid unsafe areas. When you are ready to mow, climb aboard and fasten your seat belt. Start the engine and raise the cutting unit. Push the mow transport switch to the mow position and release the brake. Begin moving forward and push the lift lower lever forward to lower the decks and begin mowing. Plan and follow the most efficient path when mowing. Golf course roughs and large areas typically have varying terrain and a variety of obstacles to mow around. To maintain safe control of the machine and to avoid damaging the turf, always make slow, gradual turns. When mowing, stay away from drop-offs and bunkers. Stay alert for people entering the mowing area. Always mow at safe speeds. Mowing too fast can be dangerous and will result in a poor quality of cut. As you mow, watch the quality of cut to make sure the mower is cutting correctly. Stay aware of how the mower is operating. The tech control provides common fault diagnostic trouble icons. Notify the equipment manager of any issues. If the engine coolant temperature icon illuminates, the operating temperature is too high. If this happens, let the engine idle to cool down. If the hydraulic oil temperature icon illuminates, stop the machine, raise the decks, disengage the mow transport switch, and let the engine idle to cool the hydraulic oil. If the engine oil pressure icon illuminates, shut off the machine to avoid serious damage. If the battery icon illuminates, the alternator is not producing enough current. Stop the engine and consult your equipment manager. It's important to watch for hydraulic leaks. Hot hydraulic oil will kill the grass. If you see a leak, stop mowing and transfer it off the grass. Turn off the engine and contact your supervisor. The 9009A is equipped with cruise control to enable you to mow at a set travel speed without keeping the forward travel pedal depressed. If your 9009A has cruise control enabled, the cruise control symbol will appear in the lower right corner of the tech control home screen, which means you can engage cruise whenever it is needed. To mow with cruise control, press the forward travel pedal and hold it until you reach your desired mowing speed. Then press and momentarily hold the fourth button on the tech control display to engage cruise control, release the travel pedal, and the machine will travel at your mowing speed. To disengage cruise control, press the forward travel pedal. You can also disengage cruise by pressing the fourth button on the tech control home screen, engaging the brake, or by switching the mow switch to the left and disengaging the decks. For premium cut quality, taller grass is best mowed using the maximum engine speed and a slower ground speed. This is why the 9009A comes with load match. Load match is a power management system that when engaged automatically slows the machine when mowing taller grass to improve the quality of cut. Check with your supervisor before you mow to verify that the load match feature is engaged. Here are some other important things to remember when mowing. Always use caution when mowing around water features, ledges, or embankments. 
Make sure the ground is not too wet, soft, slippery, or unstable. Use caution when mowing slopes. Mow straight up and down slopes, not across. Keep all movements slow and gradual and avoid starting, stopping, or turning on slopes. Do not mow slopes when the grass is wet. When you're done mowing, transport back to the maintenance area for some end of day maintenance. When you arrive, stop safely on level ground. Lower the decks and let the engine idle for a short time to cool. Verify that the mow transport switch is in the transport position. Place the parking switch in the on left position. Then turn the engine off and remove the key from the ignition. After the engine has cooled, open the hood and use low pressure compressed air or a power blower to clean the radiator radiator screen, and hydraulic oil cooler. Blow parallel to the fins to prevent damage. Damaged fins can reduce the cooling efficiency of the radiator. Also, blow away any grass that has collected on the machine. Over time, decaying grass can damage components and paint. Use low pressure water to wash the decks. High pressure power washers can force grease out of the bearings and damage some parts. Do not spray cold water on a hot engine block. After washing, grease the rollers and blade spindles on the cutting units. It's also a good idea to refuel at the end of each day. Fill the tank with fresh diesel fuel. See the operator's manual for more information on fueling safety. With proper operation and regular maintenance using John Deere parts and lubricants, you'll get years of service from your investment. Remember, the information provided here is only an overview. Be sure to read the safety section of the operator's manual before mowing with the 9009A. Always read the manual before servicing or making any adjustments. Most importantly, always think safety when operating or maintaining any machine. If you have any questions or problems, be sure to contact your local John Deere dealer.